Uh, I'm Connie Scarbosa from Sea Space Cowboy, and I'm currently on tour with Sanction, Typecast, Vamakar, and we have regional support from Crow Killer right now. Um, and I'm going to be showing you our piece of shit van. So we have a few of us who drive, because only a few of us are responsible enough to drive. Um, they usually switch out every couple hours, and we usually have a co-pilot, those who don't drive. Um, co-pilot has to stay awake. Co-pilot has to uh, just be ready, ready to talk for overnight drives and stuff like that. Um, other than that, it's not super intensive with like crazy rules. It's kind of just drive as long as you can, and then the next person hops up, or we stop at a gas station to sleep. Some people, it, everybody switches around. Some people play podcasts, and other times they'll play like hardcore or metalcore or whatever. Usually halfway through the tour we get sick of it, so we start playing anything but. Ethan, our guitarist, usually likes to play like anime theme songs and shit like that, or he plays like baths, like electronica or Brockhampton or whatever, and our bassist usually puts on some kind of trap because he's sick of hearing breakdowns at this point in tour. In the front seat, you have my little makeup bag with all my fun things in there, and really unorganized, but uh, yeah, every show I usually come up in the front and just pop and do it in here real quick and then get out. Try to do as uh, very low maintenance when it comes to makeup on tour because it's just gonna get fucked up anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> so I'll keep it low maintenance easy and just so I have some sort of a face on. Cooler in the middle just to stay organized. I mean, vegan banana bread, probably stolen from Whole Foods. Um, we just basically do that to like, keep our water and like some food in there. There's some Louisville vegan jerky, there's some NyQuil. Um, it just makes it so we don't have like. A, th a thing of water rolling around in the van and it just so we can like put food in there to keep it somewhat organized because the van gets mad messy on tour. This is where it gets even more messy. So the way we have it set up is normally when we're driving during the day people just be sitting on the benches. Sometimes people go up there and lay. I'll show you our little bunk system later. But yeah these are our benches. Normally the back bench is mine and I create a nice little nest there to live in. And that's kind of just become my thing. Uh, jackets, clothes are falling out. I never keep my shit zipped up, so things are falling out all the time. I am notorious for being the messy member of the band, and everyone gets really mad at me. Um, but yeah, it's basic, you know, everyone else tries to keep it clean, I don't. And it usually turns into chaos. Bags stuffed everywhere. There's like, Vents broken from van moshing, there's cigarette burns in the ceiling, there's blood stains on the ceiling, I don't know how those got there. Broken console, because our tour manager decided to dive from the front seat all the way to the back on top of our drummer, while Old Parkway Drive was playing in the van. Um, it's kind of rickety, but AC doesn't work in the back, it's fun. Um, yeah, it works, it gets us from point A to point B, and that's all that matters. My corner, yeah, got cigarettes. Carton, buy them whenever they're cheap so that I don't have to buy them ever again. My food, we we drink a lot of body armor and there are certain members of this band who refuse to pee in bottles with small holes, they'll only pee in bottles with big holes, so they kind of hoard those. I'm not one of them, I'll piss in a small hole or a big hole, doesn't matter to me. I got my backpack, headphones, trash bag for when we try to keep it clean, but it doesn't really go well ever um pretty much it. and i got yeah, all my jackets stowed it's usually like what i use as a pillow because i don't bring i'm not prepared for tour ever backpack with like some manga in it and shit to read some books about communism basic stuff to keep me entertained on the long drives we built these bunks in the back well our tour manager mostly built them. But basically, very messy back here too. There we go. Um, but basically, two mattresses up top, so two people can sleep up top, or two people can cuddle down here if they so choose to. This is what we call the dungeon. So it's the most isolated area, and you can go down there to sleep if you're gonna drive, or you don't wanna deal with the sunlight. It gets mad weird down there when you stay down there for a long time, though. You get a little crazy. But yeah, it's uh, very nice because we can all lay down and sleep on overnight drives, other than the people who are driving, of course. 
Um, so it like serves us quite well. So right now there's seven people with us. Normally there's six. So we got the five members of the band, and then we normally just have our TM slash merch guy. But this tour we have our friend Julia as well, who's also learning the tricks of the trade and helping out. So it's like really cool. Um, so we got seven of us now. Normally, uh, when it comes time to drive, like everybody will just divvy up between like benches, sleep bench, bench, two up top, one down here. Sometimes Colin and Julia will both go down here and it'll make it even easier for like all of us to lay down. Um, but there's always a co-pilot, there's always a driver. So two people are always sitting, uh, which is unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. So fun fact, this is Backtrack's trailer actually, that we bought from them. Uh, I don't have a key. Oh, I do have a key. I can show you what's in there. I don't think it's... We, it's unloaded right now for the most part. But what we'll do is like keep bags and shit in here. And mostly the loaders are Ethan, our guitarist, our bassist, and then tour manager oversees the whole operation because he knows touch as well. Spare tire because we need to put it underneath what we have in. But yeah, this is the, a nice little trailer. It's filled to the brim when we load out. It's quite a, a quite an ordeal than playing Tetris. Well, I appreciate y'all watching this and being interested in our weird way of transporting ourselves from place to place. Um, you can listen to us on Spotify. We got all the social media, SYSC band on Instagram, all that fun shit. Shout out Pure Noise Records. Those are the main ones, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken. And yeah, come out to a fucking show. What's the point in like, liking music if you don't go play? What are you doing, Lumpy? <laughs>